Welcome to Galaxy View. Galaxy View is a tool provided to you by the Multimission Archive Space Telescope that gives you the ability to browse Galaxy data in an unprecedented way. At the top left, we see that we have the standard search box, and uh, you can either select an object from the bar below, or you can enter your own objects, which will then be resolved or you can directly enter coordinates. We can start our search on M101 and we're going to display objects that are being observed by Galax and cataloged by Galax in and around M101. As you see, the search returns an image, which is a Galax image. We have a preview of the old image here because we're going to zoom in and change the zoom levels. As I just shown, you can drag the image around, but if you simply double click on an image, you can actually see that we instantaneously zoom closer to the objects. The circle, the red circle, represent the radius around which I issue my query and since we didn't issue any particular radius, you will see up there that we are searching around the radius which is only five uh, hundredths of a degree, so it's a relatively small uh, radius. The objects are color coded according to their survey and if you take a look at uh, the legend here, up here on the right side, you will see that blue objects are all sky surveys and uh, orange objects, for example, are from uh, NGS survey, nearby galaxy survey. Of also interest to, to the users are the fact that uh, each of the objects here, uh, you can double click on each of the objects and you can retrieve information about the objects at the bottom in either a horizontal or, or vertical form. The object, uh, the information is also represented below for the objects for which you search and the, this view here is a rather interesting view because it allows you to explore not only Galaxy data, the way it's stored in the, in the database, but also allows you to do a little bit more thanks to the power of this new technology. For example, as I showed before, there are different surveys that cover objects in this particular region. By clicking on the survey, you see that instantaneously we create a histogram that divides the objects in All Sky Survey and NGS Survey. If I'm only interested in nearby galaxy surveys, I can just click and all and the objects will be filtered not only in my table but also in their graphical view. This is actually very is very handy for many other um, uh, applications which I will show in a second. Uh, of, of interest is also the fact that we can uh, take a look at, for example, an object which is a galaxy in uh, the Virgo cluster. Uh, we're going to load again, we're going to saw objects in here, and you can see there are many, many objects that have been observed within the circle. So, however, I might be interested in this particular object right here, and just by double clicking on an object, you'll see that we actually go into the database, even if you didn't query for this object uh, at the beginning, and we'd actually retrieve the information for that particular object. Uh, the other interesting feature that I have for this is that you can do, you can play the game of uh, selecting each of the columns uh, each of the columns uh, in the data grid and have them display inside the histogram view in uh, with any column really. So suppose I want to uh, take a look at the exposure time for all the objects in my in my in my search radius and you can see that I have objects that have uh, quite a few objects, more than 111, that have been observed for exposure time in excess of 3000 seconds. Uh, if I want to take a look at only the objects that have a short exposure time, here they are. Uh, the filter has been applied, has been applied to my grid, and has been applied to my to my graphical view. Uh, the other interesting thing you can do, you can actually search for tiles. Uh, as I search, I will describe to you what tiles are. Tiles are uh, basically 1.2 square degrees or so of uh, Galax data that has been observed in this particular area. And of interest to us is the fact that uh, there, there have been, as you can see, quite a few surveys that have observed Galax data in, um, that have observed uh, in the ultraviolet uh, in this particular region of the sky. The deep imaging survey, there's only one. The old sky survey has 38 degrees that cover, uh, more than 38 degrees that cover this area. And then the NGS survey. By clicking on here, you can see that nothing really happens in here other than the filtering. And the interesting thing is that um, uh, the name of the the name of the tile is displayed here, and then by clicking on this image, the I the corresponding image up here will be loaded. So, for example, we are in we can only see an image here, which is a monochrome image. But if I want to take a look at other images in this area, I can actually just click images, 
and see, for example, uh, four fake color images. This is particularly a mosaic of the Virgo cluster. And you can zoom in and you can play the, the same games and ask what is these objects and it will give you, uh, the database will return to you uh, information. Uh, the, the other interesting thing is that you can add objects to your, uh, to your, uh, to a cart. And so I'm going to click here and add a few objects to my cart and show you the cart interface. What the cart interface allows you to do is actually download, uh, download your data. So I've added a few, a few um, uh, tiles uh, to my, and a few areas of the sky that I'm interested in to my cart. And I'm going to actually display what the cart does. The cart is now loading uh, the uh, information about the object. You can see you have uh, the four areas of the sky that I've selected. It tells you how many how many files are in the in each of these uh, particular folders. You can select, uh, you can subselect, but you could actually decide to download the entire uh, folder. As you click, you see that the information about the size of uh, the download will be displayed at the bottom. So let's say I'm interested in. Uh, in uh, in this particular tiles, but I want only catalogs and um, and imaging from different tiles. You see, you will see that now the size of this download is pretty large, and you can actually uh, you can actually start the download, and uh, the download will actually generate a tar file for you, which will be then downloaded uh, and prompted uh, to you to actually save on your uh, on your machine. And here's the download. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it on my desktop. And uh, as the download progress, you can see a, pro, uh, a bar. And uh, we're gonna wait for the download to finish. And then I'm gonna show you two more features that I think are actually valuable for uh, uh, Galax uh, for Galax View for the users to be aware of. So we're gonna close this. Uh, the file is being downloaded to my desktop. Uh, and I would like to mention something else about the Galaxy View. There are, th there are layouts here that allows you to change the view uh, that you have of Galaxy Data. In this case, for example, we have removed the search capability, the search history that you have here on the left. And you can see this is very dynamic. If I want just want to concentrate on the image only, I can actually click here and uh, do the same trick and zoom in and out. But suppose I want to concentrate only perhaps on, uh, on my uh, tiles and on particular data. You can see also have uh, spectral data, which is indicated by the red tile, but also want to take a look at, for example, the thumbnails for this particular, for this particular area of the sky. The thumbnails are actually being uh, loaded uh, from the Galaxy website as we speak. And here they are displayed right now. So each of these tiles is actually loaded when you click on an image. You can obviously scroll down uh, and take a look at all the tiles and if uh, by some reason you get information about each of the tiles you can actually have um, you can actually go back and uh, take a look at this particular tile and I think that concludes my my video